quick cuts from Knife Chats. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you. I got to tell you, I really like the Seahorse Whittler by Case. I think it's a beautiful knife. I, I love the lines on it. I love the worn clip blade. I love the two uh, other blades that come with it, the coping blade and the little pin blade. I just really like this knife. And um, I like this one with the uh, saw cut bone and the uh, Case round shield, uh, Case XX USA round shield. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite knives in, uh, in my case collection. I don't use it much because I don't want to wear it out or anything. But, man, do I like um, Seahorse Whittlers. I never thought I would buy a second one, though, because they are a little bit pricey uh, for me. But I saw one um, the other day, and it's like, man, I really would love to have that knife. And uh, I looked at the price and said, but I'm not going to pay that much for it. And so I put in a, a ridiculous, uh, you know, the person had, you know, buy it now or make an offer. And I put in a ridiculous offer and I thought for sure he would laugh at me. But uh, lo and behold, he didn't laugh at me. So I ended up getting it. It is really an awesome knife. And so let's see the other case Seahorse Whittler that I now have. So this one is the 11640 Antique Bone Smooth Seahorse Whittler 6355. Um, that's the pattern number, 6355. So 55 is the actual pattern number. 6 is for bone and 3 is for number of blades. And then WH for Whittler, I guess, and SS, Stainless Steel. Uh, any case needs to see the box you want to see the knife and this one is pretty cool because it says smooth bone but it's anything but it has a fantastic jigging on it known as puzzle pieces and so you've got the antique bone and then the uh, darker portion which is black or almost black and then you've got a case double x uh, on the bolster and then a case double X bullet shield. And tell me, that does not look fantastic. The uh, fit and finish is about typical of what you're finding on case. Actually, this one's a little bit better than uh, some of the newer ones. But uh, this is all nice and smooth, actually. The, uh, the pins and everything. The bolsters, you got all my fingerprints on them for sure. So they are well polished. And I like that double X cut into them. Just on one side, typical. And then you got the big uh, Horncliffe blade. Got a little nick there from where there's some uh, scratching going on with the other two blades, which I don't have with this one. So I might actually send this back to case and see if they can adjust it. But 6355WHSS USA. And then the other two blades. You got the pin blade down there with the double X. And the coping blade over here. Come on, coping blade. So all the blades are there. Man, it just, uh, really, oh, what I was getting it for is this, the, the puzzle piece shield. Um, the first thing I was thinking of when I saw this is, did they do this for like autism or something or, or what? Because uh, uh, anyone who uh, does anything for autism knows uh, uh, the jigsaw puzzle is one of the uh, symbols for autism and everything. That's one of the reasons I picked up the knife regardless of what Case was doing with it. But tell me that's not cool. I really like that. And now, you know two of them. I got the barn board jig and the puzzle pieces. Uh, Lord, I hope I'm not going to start collecting seahorse whittlers, but the way it looks like right now, there's a very good chance that that might actually happen. And seahorse whittlers are not the cheapest knife that Case makes. But, uh, yeah, I think I can see at least the third one in the near future. And unfortunately, I don't think they do Seahorse Whittlers in 
black delrin or yellow delrin they all tend to be in bone maybe the next one will be in like a stag bone or maybe actual stag in any case there you have it uh the latest addition to my case collection the case seahorse whittler and puzzle pieces And that's another wrap for a quick cut. Thanks a lot for dropping by.